Hello everyone, I'm Mohit, a developer advocate here at Salesforce. In this video, we'll explore how to build a basic Salesforce to Slack integration using Node.js version of Bolt SDK from Slack. Without further ado, let's get started. Here is a high level architecture of the systems involved in integrating Salesforce and Slack. First, we'll create a Slack app at api.slack.com and authorize against the Slack workspace. Next, we'll create a Heroku app and deploy a simple node.js app using Slack's Bolt SDK. Then we'll enhance the code to respond to an action from the shortcut command. And finally, we will show you how to authenticate to Salesforce and access Salesforce APIs using a Node.js library, JSForce. We are at the very first step where we will create a Slack app at api.slack.com. To create a Slack app, first you need to sign up for a Slack workspace. You can sign up for a Slack workspace for free using the sign up page URL shared in the video description. Next, navigate to api.slack.com. Sign in with your Slack workspace credentials. Click create new app. We can start from scratch or from an app manifest. Let us use the second option of creating an app using an existing manifest file. Let's pick up a workspace. In the interest of time, I already have a manifest.yaml that we can import to create an app. You can find the link to this file in the video description. This file defines features, settings, and OAuth configurations such as scopes for your Slack app. We've also included global shortcut. Shortcuts are a type of element in Slack clients that invoke an action. Shortcuts are initiated from the shortcuts button in the message composer of Slack client or from within the search. In this case, we've defined a shortcut with the name, who am I? Later in the video, we'll show you how to write code to listen and respond to shortcuts. Once we add the apps manifest, click and verify the scopes features and settings before creating the app. Once the app is successfully created, authorize the Slack app against your Slack workspace to obtain a bot token. We will need this bot token to invoke Slack APIs from the app. Now onto the fun part. We'll create a Node.js app built using Bolt SDK on Heroku. The Heroku app acts as a middleware and communicates with Slack using Bolt and Salesforce using JSForce Node library. Now, we have used Node to write our app, but you can choose any Heroku supported language. To create a Heroku app, you will need to sign up for a Heroku instance. You can obtain access to a free tier of Heroku that allows you to run apps without any cost. You can sign up for this via Heroku signup page. You will also need to install Heroku CLI. You can install this using the links shared in the video description. Next, let's create the project directory and CD into it. Let's open it in VS code. Next, we'll log into Heroku environment using Heroku login. Since this is a Node.js app, we will need Node installed in your machine. Let's do an npm init to initialize a Node project. Next, install Bolt SDK using npm install at slash slash bolt. Next, we'll write some code to start the app. What you see in the app.js file is code to start the Slack app. First, we initialize the app 
by providing bot token, signing secret, and port. Next, we invoke an anonymous JavaScript function that has code to start the app. The SDK under the hood takes care of securely authenticating your Node.js app with Slack workspace. Next, let's create a Heroku app using the command Heroku create. Next, let us configure environment variables in Heroku for authenticating to Slack. Starting with signing secret. We can obtain this from the Slack app we created in step one. Navigate to app credential section and find the field signing secret, copy the value and run Heroku config set to assign to the environment variable signing secret. Similarly, let's configure Slack bot token. We can obtain this from the OAuth permission sections and set it as environment variable using the Heroku config set command. Next, we want to deploy and run the code on Heroku. We first initialize Git in the project repo, add and commit the code changes. Next, we'll add a proc file so that we can configure how Heroku starts the Node.js app. Let's also check out to a new GitHub branch main. Let's add all the change files and let's add a commit message. Let's push our code to the Heroku using git push Heroku main command. Once your app is running, you should see a message of state change from starting to up. Next, let's add code to listen and respond to a shortcut who am I. What you see is a code logic to launch a simple model when the user selects the global shortcut, who am I? We provide the callback ID to identify the shortcut. This ID is defined in the manifest file. Next, we acknowledge the Slack request and then use one of the built-in methods provided by Bolt to trigger a model. Notice that to create the layouts, we use blocks. Blocks are visual components that can be stacked and arranged to create app layouts in Slack. Slack provides block kit UI builder where developers can design and prototype message blocks. Now let's push the code changes to Heroku. In order to have our Slack app send events to Heroku, we will need to go back to the Slack app and ensure correct Heroku domain is entered in the request URL feed. Okay, let's test the app. That works. At this point, we have a working app. Now you can learn more about how to make your app interactive, respond to messages, add actions, and various UI capabilities using the Bolt SDK documentation. We are on the final and a very important step of establishing the connection from the Node.js app to Salesforce. For this, we'll need to import an open source Node.js module, JSForce, that can authorize and authenticate to Salesforce. JSForce provides various utilities to interact with Salesforce APIs. For this demo, we will use username and password for authentication to Salesforce. This is not suggested for production application, but we choose this option for instructive purposes. For a production application, we recommend you to use OAuth 2.0 JWT bare flow for server to server interaction. If you want to learn more about configuring a Heroku app with a JWT flow, be sure to check out my video on running a Heroku app against Salesforce with the JWT flow. The link is in the description. Now let's add few lines of code to obtain a Salesforce connection object using JSForce. This object provides access to interact with various Salesforce API. Now we modify the body of the model to display the user ID of the logged in user.
Before we push the code, let us set environment variables for the app on Heroku required for Salesforce authentication, like SF username, which is username of the user you want to log in with, SF password. Note, password parameter needs to be password plus Salesforce security token and SF login URL, which is HTTPS colon slash slash login.salesforce.com for developer and production orgs and HTTPS colon slash slash test.salesforce.com for sandboxes. Once we have our changes, let's push the changes to the Heroku. At this point, let's test the application. Okay, we have a working app which can listen to Slack shortcut and also at the same time reach into Salesforce and fetch data. We have barely scratched the surface of Slack plus Salesforce app development. We are putting together an opinionated minimum scaffold for developers wanting to build Slack apps using Bolt SDK and have requirements to integrate the Slack app to Salesforce data. This automates a lot of steps we just went through. Check out the link shared in the video description for more. We will also be running code live sessions every Thursday where we'll be live coding a sample Slack app integrated to Salesforce. Thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the upcoming code live sessions.